So hi everyone, welcome to your course, Chemistry for Engineers. I will be your instructor throughout the first half of this trimester. My name is Engineer Jonaika A. Tapiador. This video is just a very short introduction of the things that you would need to learn and the things that you would need to do in order for you to um, achieve the uh, intended outcomes for the course. So, there's the first slide. Title of the course is Chemistry for Engineers. So, this will consist of five parts. You have there the very first one, your course description. So, the description of this particular course, it says there, it, should prov it provides the students with core concepts of chemistry that are important in the practice of engineering profession. So, hopefully, by the end of this course, you would need to learn um, so just some, a few important aspects of chemistry that is, of course, related to engineering practices. The students must learn the basic concepts of material chemistry to engineering design of structures. To have at least a basic background or general knowledge on energy, fuels, engineered nanomaterials, nuclear chemistry and energy, the chemistry of soil, atmosphere, water, and chemical safety in the industry. So the second part will be your course learning outcomes or commonly referred to as your CLO. So at the end of this course, you should be able to, number one, <coughs> CLO number one, discuss the application of chemistry in relation to the generation of energy. Your CLO number two, Explain the chemical principles and concepts of structures and bonding of your common materials. The third CLO will be discussed the chemical processes that take place in the environment. Number four, identify key chemistry concepts related to the specific field of engineering. So, um... We, we have four course learning outcomes. So next stop will be your course syllabus and topic learning outcomes. We actually have um, five modules for this course. Module number one and number two will be for your midterms. And modules three, four, and five is for the or are for the finals. So, module number one, these are the topics that we would need to cover. It will be all about energy. So, there, uh, letter A, we will start with your overview, followed by your en energy loss. Uh, just energy loss will cover specific topics in your thermodynamics and fluid mechanics. The third one is your electrochemical energy, followed by your nuclear chemistry and nuclear energy, and then fuels so the second module is about engineering materials we will learn the basic crystal structure concepts and of course metals followed by your polymers and then finally your engineered nano materials so at the end of midterms, these are the things that you would need to learn or these are commonly referred to as your PLOs or topic learning outcomes. So letter A, determine the different laws of energy. Discuss the different types of energy and rank your energy efficiencies. Solve problems on energy efficiency, nuclear chemistry, and electrochemistry. Discuss the different engineering materials and solve problems on crystal lattices. So if you take a look at each of the PLO or the topic learning outcomes, a CLO must be achieved. So if we go back to your CLO number one. The 
Diba? It says there, discuss the application of energy in relation to the generation of energy. So, and if we go back then to your topic, learning outcomes. So, determine the different laws of energy uh, in relation to your general thermodynamics and fluid mechanics. So, each topic learning outcome is actually related to your course learning outcomes. So, for um, topic learning outcomes A, B, and C, CLO number 1 is achieved. And for topic learning outcomes B and E, your CLO number 2 is achieved. So, let's go now to your final, uh, to the topics that we would be covering in your final term. So, module number three, three will consist of environmental chemistry, specifically the chemistry of your water, soil, and air. Followed by your number, uh, module number four, which is uh, all about chemical safety. So, we will be discussing general industrial chemistry chemical safety, and of course, chemical safety on workplaces. So, we also have module number 5. Hopefully, we could still fit this in. Um, that will be special topics on different engineering fields. So, you have uh, usually for um, civil engineering and environmental and sanitary engineering students, we will be covering cement manufacturing for the other courses like your um, electronics and communications engineering, um, what else, computer engineering. We will be covering chemistry on IET and programming and semiconductors. So at the end of the final term, these are the topic learning outcomes. Discuss the importance of general chemical safety. So that will, uh, this is related to your CLO number four. And explain the processes of chemistry in the environment, specifically your water, soil, and air, related to your CLO number three. And of course, uh, re in relation to your CLO number four, you have discussed chemistry related on different engineering fields so for the fourth part of this introduction you have your course outcomes assessment tools so how do we assess uh, that you have achieved the course learning outcomes intended so you only have two assessment uh, tools first is your class standing and then your exams so for class standing, this will be consist. Uh, this will consist of your quiz, sit work, homework, and presentations. And for the exams, of course, we will have to. We will have two midterm, your midterm, and then your final exam. So the last uh, topic is your computation of your scores. So how do we compute your score or your grade so let's first go to your raw midterm score or your raw midterm grade so one thing that you have to take note of the passing score is always 60 percent that means um, in order for you to get a passing score on any activity you should get at least 60 percent of the total score so for example um, I provided an activity that is um, 10 points. So, in order for you to pass that particular activity, you should get 60% of 10, which is 6. And then, for example, um, the perfect score or another quiz is provided to you, which, has, um, which consists of uh, 50 points. So, in order for you to pass that um, particular quiz, you should get 60% of 50, which is 30 points. So, 60% of the total score will give you a grade of 75. So, how do we compute your raw midterm score or your raw midterm grade? You have 50% will be 
for the class standing and 50% is via sorry 50% is via your midterm score so for the raw final score it's actually the same 50% of the class standing and 50% of your final exam score which will give you your final score or your final grade which will consist of 50% of your midterm score and 50% of your raw final score. So as you can see here, there's a note indicated scores are transmuted to an equivalent grade for a score of at least 60% would be the minimum passing grade of 75. So, um, so for any activity, you should get at least 60% of the total score of that activity for you to get a grade of 75 or the passing grade but of course um i would encourage you to aim higher than 75 the reason for that is um diba syempre pag ang goal mo lang is 75 pag kinulang ka diba edi bagsak ka ulitin mo ulit yung subject However, if you try then to aim a little bit higher than 75, let's say 90, ganyan. So, kung 90 yung lagi mong ini-aim, kulangin ka man ng konti, at least, sigurado, pasok ka pa rin dun sa 60% uh, bracket. You would still get a passing score. Okay. Well, I think I will end there. Uh... I will just require you to make a very uh, a first the, your first activity for this particular course. There you have it. You have to create a short introduction about yourself, then answer the question: Why did you choose to pursue your program? Might that be civil engineering, electronics communications engineering, uh, computer programming, or environmental and sanitary? So basically, uh, why? Why did you choose to pursue your engineering program? Uh, this, um, I would require that you make this around 2 to 3 minutes only. And um, I will give you the rest of the period or the rest of the time to uh, make this, your to uh, create your first activity. And then when we already... Uh, when the official platform of University of the Cordilleras, which is Canvas, is already up and running, that is the time that I will require you to submit it there. Other announcements, other activities will be posted soon. And then, okay, thank you for listening. And uh, the first topic we will have next meeting is about the overview of your energy. So that's it. Um, you'll see more videos of me in the upcoming um, topics. Please um, stay home, class, stay safe, and stay healthy. Goodbye.